Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and finally I have got my hands on the Huawei Honor 7. This is the new uh, Honor 7 phone released by Huawei just recently and I am super excited to actually open this up and share it with you guys. But before I do that, I wanted to pass a special thanks to my subscriber and my friend Rene uh, who bought this phone on my suggestion and he was kind enough to lend me this phone for a week so that I could make videos on it. So I have the phone with me for a week guys, I'll do the unboxing, the gaming video, the battery video, uh, Probably upload a couple of camera samples as well and uh, I will do the best I can in a week that I have the phone on me so if you got any questions uh, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and once again thanks to my friend and subscriber Rene who was kind enough to lend me the phone okay so let's quickly have a look at the box first of all uh, as you know as you can see seals are opened up already because I couldn't wait earlier in the day when it was delivered to, to open it up and see what was inside so I just had a quick look not in detail but just had a quick look so this phone comes basically in two colors a gold and and silver and this one is a silver color as you can see it says here at the box behind the box here says a fantasy silver and they've got a gold color in this as well and a gray color I think gold is not available just as yet but silver and gray are available uh, by the way um, Huawei has opened a new V mall online shopping mall for their Huawei handsets so that people can buy directly from their uh, people in Europe especially UK Germany they can all go and buy it from there I will leave the link underneath this phone was bought by the way on a special price uh, for 209.99 pounds sterling and that was till about 31st of August that deal is now finished uh, and the phone's price has gone back to 24999 uh, which is still cheaper as compared to the Huawei P8 considering that this phone has far more superior specs than the Huawei P8 and is still £100 cheaper. Anyways guys, without wasting any more time, let's open the box up and have a look and see what do we find inside. A bit of a struggle to open the box up, it's a bit hard. Okay, there we go, finally. Hey, hey. So we have the Huawei Honor 7. Let's have a quick look at the phone. Uh, first impressions, it's very light to be honest. It's um, made from obviously aluminium metal construction. And it's got all the gizmos, uh, the fingerprint scanner at the back, and the front flashlight, which we'll be talk about in just a moment. So um, this is the silver color, and to be honest, I find it very light for a metal phone. That's the first impression I'm getting so far. But uh, let's put this aside for a moment, and let's have a look and see what else do we have in the box. Let's quickly get this out of the way. So uh, let's have a look and see. We have another package in there, and this most likely will have, uh, the, I think, the manuals and stuff. Yeah. So we have the SIM ejector tool. Uh, thank you Huawei for providing that. We also have some Honor stickers, uh, Honor for the Brave, good. Uh, the warranty guide which I'm sure most of you are not interested in and the Honor 7 quick guide as well as you can see at the back. So I will put this all back in and uh, because I know most of you obviously are not interested in, in the manuals and stuff. So let's put this back in and let's have a look and see what else do we have in the box. Okay, let's open this up and see. Tell you what, I don't know why for some reason it's stuck and it takes a while to get it out. Um, a bit of design flaw I would say in the boxing. <laughs> okay, so this is most likely um, yeah, the USB cable. This is the cable that you will use with your adapter to charge your phone or connect your phone to the PC. So I will leave it packed up. We don't obviously have to have a look at that. It's like the normal other USB cables anyway. Okay, so we have here most likely this would be the charging brick, the charging adapter. It's a UK 3-pin adapter as you can see because you model for Europe obviously. Okay, so let's have a look. Like always in my unboxing guys, you know, I always have a look at the amp rating that determines how fast the phone will charge and how powerful the charger is. As you can see, output here right on top, right hand side, output 5 volt, 2 amp. It's a fairly fast charger, it's not the fastest obviously, but uh, at 2 amp I do expect it to charge at a decent rate. And the phone has by the way a 3100 milliampere battery, so it's a big battery. So that's why they've given you a 2 amp charger as you can see, it says 5 volt, 2 amp. So decent enough, not too bad. By the way, the phone supports uh, a quick charging as well, but I'm not too sure if this phone actually supports quick charging. It seems to me this is a normal regular adapter, power brake and not the quick charger. Anyways, put this back in the box as well, we don't need it for now. And let's have a quick look at the phone, now that we have looked at all the accessories and stuff. Um, okay, so let's bring the phone. Guys, so this is the Huawei Honor 7, a silver in color. Uh, first impressions. I love uh, I love the bezels to be honest. Um, on especially on the, the edge, uh, the side bezels. They're very very thin. I quite like it. Even the top and the bottom bezel. Bottom bezel is a bit 
I think thick but uh, when it comes to the top bezel I think because we got the camera here the front facing camera which is 8 megapixel and also I love this we have the front LED flash that's wicked and I will probably show you guys in one of my um, future videos in the next couple of days and I will show you how good this flash is in fact we will turn it on and we will probably take a picture at the same time as well and the normal sensors here along and this is the phone speaker okay uh, let's take the sheet off from the back as well and let's have a look and see if we can peel it off this is always a very good feeling La -da, there we go let's peel this off I'll probably put this back on once I've done the unboxing and or probably once I've stopped, stopped using the phone before I give it to my friend and subscriber Rene okay uh, first impressions I love the metal aluminium construction it's nice it's got a bit of matte touch to it even though it's aluminium it's metal but still it's got this nice refined finish to it let me bring this close to the camera see if you can, guys can actually feel it uh, it's not rough like normally you have on aluminium phones but it's more or less like the HTC One M8 for instance or the M9 uh, they have a very refined metallic aluminium finish and the Honor 7 has the same as well the Honor 7 logo is engraved in there and you can feel a bit of rough texture on it obviously because it's engraved in there but it looks very very classy nicely done you also have the fingerprint scanner which I'm really really excited about apparently this is the quickest fingerprint scanner on any phone in the world and I can't wait to test it okay then you have the 20 megapixel camera at the back this is the Sony IMX I think 230 sensor or 320 something like that but it's one of the latest Sony sensors available which they have put in this phone this is the same sensor they used in I think the Huawei P8 as well then we have the dual tone LED flash so that we can have natural photos on top I think this is more or less like like plastic I think this bit or maybe it's aluminium I think this this sheet at the back is probably uh, plastic from what I can I can tell yeah there's definitely a difference in sound so I think this is more or less like plastic and uh, the reason for that would probably be because uh, they have got the antennas and they wanted them to make sure that the metal and aluminium casing of the phone doesn't interrupt uh, with the signal so probably they have the antennas here and you have the same stripe a plastic stripe uh, at the bottom as well but it's a nice finely finished and it's well made uh, I tell you what the whole phone the way you hold it in your hands everything the chamfered edges and stuff is just such a classy phone and it's hard to believe that they can give you a phone this classy and made with nice and metal and aluminium only for 250 even if the special price is gone 250 is still a ridiculously good price for a phone like this to be honest it's shocking how far we have come in technology how cheap it is now to buy a nice premium a world class quality aluminium phone for half the price of any flagship galaxy phone out there or any expensive HTC or Sony phone out there okay so let's have a look on the right hand side first so we have here the volume rocker and it's got this nice lovely uh, I'm sure you can hear it on the camera nice lovely tactile finish to it absolutely brilliant it's not loose at all it's properly tightened up and when you press it you can feel it it's, it's got a nice lovely feedback tactile feedback to it and this is the power button i tell you what whilst we talk about the phone might well just press the power button and see if you can boot the phone up there we go you hear you uh, you get a bit of vibration in your hands and the on and, and, and the honor logo comes up and says power by android is turned up so let's let it boot up first and uh, whilst it's doing it let's have a quick look around the phone so around the bottom you have these two uh, uh, grilled speakers I think uh, this, this only one of them works I think it's the right one which works this is more or less like um, uh, just matching the design symmetry I think the right side is the, where, the, where the speaker is we will probably test that at some point as well then you have the micro USB port and this is all uh, you know with the nice metal frame all the way surrounding it okay on the left hand side the same chamfered metal edges going all the way up and then you have here uh, on the top the sim tray um, and this phone is by the way dual sim uh, or you can have one sim and micro SD card expandability as well up to I think 128 gig now this button here just below the sim tray is a very special one and I will do a dedicated video on this because this button apparently you can customize a different apps with it so if you press the button say once you can open Facebook if you tap it twice you can open WhatsApp or if you, open, you keep it pressed you can turn the camera on I mean you can literally customize this button to any app this is very good for multitasking especially when you're in a rush or see if you want to turn the camera on or you want to quickly go into your WhatsApp or Facebook just press the button once and it goes into it this is very very clever by Huawei I haven't seen in any other phone before but what I've read and seen so far about it it seems to be pretty good and people and reviewers are quite happy with it but I will probably test it and do a dedicated video like I said and I will show you guys how good this button is okay around the top we have the IR blaster which again is a bonus 
bonus in this price category you are getting upon uh, aluminium uh, world-class build quality phone and you're getting uh, IR blaster for only 250 I think it's ridiculously cheap and it's really value for money you also have a 3.5 mm jack on the top and the mic as well and everything else seems perfectly fine I think the, uh, the phone is covered with the grid glass I think it's three or four one of those I can't remember but uh, uh, all in all the handset is fairly light to be honest and it's not heavy at all for a metal aluminium phone and the reason I say that is because I'm also an owner of uh, I'm also owner of the Huawei Honor 6 Plus as you can see on in the left hand side in the video this is the Huawei Honor 6 Plus that I've had for a few months now and this phone is comparatively quite heavy as compared to this obviously and this has got the glass back and this was this is obviously more fragile now this one has the metal aluminium at the back so it will, even if you if you drop this you will end up obviously denting it or scratching it but it won't break whereas if you end up uh, dropping the Huawei Honor 6 Plus which has the glass back is more fragile it probably will crack or break or smash so it looks like Huawei have been thinking about it and they said you know what it was about time to upgrade the Honor a series of smartphones and give people a bit of something a bit more to rely on a more bit something a bit more stronger and more rigid and aluminium and metal is definitely the way forward no question about it but as comparing to Huawei Honor 6 Plus I think the Honor 6 Plus is obviously heavy obviously the Honor 6 Plus has got a 5.5 inch full HD screen as compared to 5.2 inches on the Honor 7 so it's obviously a smaller phone as compared to Honor 7 and plus this one has the Honor 6 Plus has a bigger battery 3600 milliampere battery whereas this one has 3100 milliampere battery but according to Huawei this battery should last almost as good as the Huawei Honor 6 Plus and like I said guys I will probably do a battery video as well and I will put this to the test and we will compare this with the Huawei Honor 6 Plus and see uh, which has the better battery life or if the Honor 7 can match the, the power of uh, the Honor 6 Plus. Honor 6 Plus is a very very good phone when it comes to battery life. It can give you close to 6 hours of screen on time which is simply amazing. And the Huawei Honor 7, uh, 6 Plus sorry, had the metal frame as well, same as the Honor 7 but the back was glass. Uh, this time around they have the back with the uh, metal and aluminium. Okay, uh, let's uh, whilst we're comparing it, might as well just uh, bring the One Plus Two, which I recently got as well. So compare this quickly with the One Plus Two. The One Plus Two has a sandstone black back as compared to the aluminium metal back of the uh, Huawei Honor Seven. So if you own a One Plus Two, you're buying to if you're planning to buy Honor Seven, you can see uh, the Honor Seven is smaller in size, obviously because the uh, the uh, One Plus Two is also 5.5 inch uh, full HD panel as compared to the 5.2 inch on the Huawei Honor Seven. But a one plus two is obviously heavier than Huawei. But I tell you what, this set is got you know it's, it's got this nice weight to it. It's not heavy. It's not too light. It's just the right weight, and it feels perfectly well in your hand. I actually um, the the first thing, the first impressions, I'm actually loving it a lot to be honest. After having all these big phones in my hand, the the one plus twos and the LG G fours that I've got, you know, after you look at all these phones and you you pick up the Honor Seven and you you realize uh, how well Huawei have done with the Honor Seven. Now comparing it with the LG G four, as you can see, uh, it's almost the same size, and this is where LG's mastery cannot be beaten cannot be beaten they have a 5.5 inch quad HD panel as, and this is the 5.2 inch and as you can see the um, uh, the screen to body ratio on the LG G4 is absolutely amazing they have kept the both sets are almost of the same size as you can see um, no difference and still uh, the LG G4 might be slightly a few millimeters taller but it's amazing how the screen to body ratio on the LG G4 actually is almost as good as on the Huawei Honor 7 considering that the Huawei Honor 7 has a smaller screen as compared to the LG G4 so not too bad as well okay so let's put all these phones aside and let's talk about a bit more about the Huawei Honor 7 I did boot it up so it's come up uh, already so English UK let's quickly get through setup so that we can go into the main screen we'll skip all this for now um, no sim card selected continue okay next page um, next okay it's taking a bit of time to go through hopefully we can uh, we agree obviously have to agree first before we can go allow next okay skip this as well fingerprint ID skip this as well uh, congratulations we are now on to our home screen so let's begin it's booting up now obviously booting up takes a bit of a while to come up um, I love the emotion UI I know most of guys out there they hate it for some reason I don't know why I've used I've been using the Honor 6 Plus for a while now and I absolutely love the emotion UI even though that one is running an older one this has got the latest emotion UI by the way uh, version 3.1 let's have a quick look at go into settings and check this out and see which version of Android this is running and which version of emotion UI we are running so we are running emotion UI 
Um, let's have a look. There we go. Emotion UI 3.1, as you can, as you guys can see, and also it's running Android version 5.0, which is the lollipop. And out of uh, uh, as you can see, uh, I haven't even installed anything on the phone, and the phone storage out of the 16 gig. This, by the way, is the 16 gig model. It also comes in 64 gig. And this has 9.79 gig free, so you have approximately 10 gig of memory free out of the 16 gig. So the Huawei obviously is, is taking a lot of uh, Huawei's own Emotion UI is taking a lot of space. But the good thing is you have the memory card, SD card expandability, so that shouldn't really be much of much of a problem for most people. You have three gigs of RAM, and you have the high silicon Kirin 935, which is the octa core chipset. Uh, this is based on Cortex A53. Uh, four cores are running at 1.5 gigs. The other four cores are running at 2.2 gigs max. So it can go up to a max of 2.2. It's an octa-core um, setup, and uh, apparently, going to Huawei is very, very efficient. This is one of the latest 935 high sale Kirin they have um, on this phone. The Huawei P8 also comes with the same uh, Kirin 935 as well. The phone has three gigs of RAM, as you can see. It has the older Mali GPU. I can't actually remember the exact model number. I think it's the T6. 40 something like that but that GPU obviously is not as strong for gaming so if you're a gamer you might not be as um you know I'm happy with the phone uh, but like I said guys I'll be doing a gaming performance video and we'll see what kind of games the Huawei Honor 7 can actually take now one more question uh, one more actually um, thing which I often ask few people on online and most people are not able to give me an answer because obviously they don't, they don't own the handset has this set got NFC in it so let's quickly have a look and see if this phone has got NFC in it uh, let's go up and have a look and see go into more this is obviously apps where am I going to find NFC NFC right and go up there we go Let's go into more and mobile network, aeroplane mode, network. I to, to be honest, I can't find no NFC tag here. Um, because I saw this review on Android Authority and they did say that the phone has actually NFC. But uh, at the moment, I'm struggling to find NFC in this phone. Uh, let's have a look. It seems to me that the phone actually might not have NFC. Let's have a look if we can find in these all these toggles here. Um, Multi-screen, 4G, aeroplane mode. From what I can see, I do not think this phone has actually NFC. Maybe there are certain versions which have the NFC, but this version I can see, the European version, the 16 gig version, has got no NFC in it, from what I can see. Um, yeah, for some reason. Okay, I'll increase the brightness now, and now the colors are popping out, as you can see. And this, so this is the Emotion UI, guys, and I'm going to go into detail on this in a, in a separate video, like I said, and I will show you everything about this phone and how the phone is like. And apparently you can, I think, take a screenshot as well by putting your knuckle, but I think it's not obviously enabled at the moment. That's why you can't see it. But I will definitely do, a, a, like I said, a dedicated software video, and I will show you guys how the Emotion UI on this phone is. So, um... Once again, I can confirm that this phone hasn't got no NFC in it. So if you're looking to buy a phone with NFC, you might be uh, disappointed. Um, I could be wrong because NFC could be sitting anywhere else in the phone. If I am wrong, guys, please do let me know in the comment section. From what I can see on the phone, I cannot see no NFC. And for some people, obviously, it's a big deal. Uh, when I got the OnePlus 2, quite a few people asked me if the phone had NFC. And I told them the phone had no NFC. So from what I can see... It doesn't seem to be the case as if the phone has NFC in it. Um, I'm a bit surprised though why uh, uh, Android Authority said that they, uh, the phone had NFC inside. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. But all in all, guys, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same like the, the, the Emotion UI is more like iOS. Um, you have got no app drawer, but you can always you obviously install a launcher and you can have the app drawer as well. But I like uh, the Emotion UI and the way it runs so smoothly and the way uh, Huawei has optimized this with their with the hardware is beautiful. You don't need 4GB for this. 3GB is more than enough. And I've been really enjoying my Huawei Honor 6 Plus as far as the software side is concerned it's got some pretty useful features in it and I think uh, for day-to-day -day use it's, it's very very nice and this button like I said I will probably um, jump into the software side and I will configure this button and I'll probably do a dedicated video as well and also guys I will be very very soon uh, maybe right after this video be doing a fingerprint scanner video as well because a lot of people obviously want to know how quick the fingerprint scanner on the Huawei Honor 7 is and I'm sure most of you will be more than happy uh, to find that out of how good that is let's quickly take a qu quick photo before we finish the video if I can open the camera up, okay, let's take a picture of the LG G4 and allow, okay, let's let's see if we can take a quick photo, I agree, alright, so, there we go, a quick photo, 
and let's zoom in and see how good the picture is the picture seems all right a bit struggle because low light obviously but uh, decent enough photo let's tap on the screen first and then take another photo and see how it does then okay so there we go no, still a struggle. The camera is, I think, okay-ish. It's not the best, but obviously it's a budget phone. It's not a top-end phone, so you don't expect too much anyway. So, guys, this was a quick uh, unboxing and overview of the Huawei uh, Honor 7. Uh, like always, guys, please subscribe to my channel as it helps. Any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And uh, please, guys, uh, give it a thumbs up if you like my video. And uh, I will see you in the next video.